In the 1840s, the world's largest maternity clinic was at the Vienna General Hospital. The clinic was divided in two. In one half, the mortality rate associated with childbirth was often over 10% and even over 30%. In the other half, it was only about 3%. What explained this difference? Assistant physician Ignaz Semmelweis came to the conclusion that the only difference between these two wards was that the half with the high mortality rate was staffed by medical students, whereas the low mortality half of the maternity ward was staffed by midwifery students. His insight came when a good friend died after being cut with a medical student's scalpel. Postmortem examination showed pathological similarities in his dead friend to women who had died of purpural fever. Semmelweis immediately proposed a connection between purpural fever and contamination by cadavers that medical students had dissected. As an experiment, the medical and midwifery students switched clinics, and the poor mortality rates followed the medical students. In May 1847, Semmelweis ordered hand washing with chlorinated water prior to deliveries, and mortality rates plummeted. Semmelweis's colleagues resisted its explanation for the causes of purpural fever, and eventually he left Vienna in frustration. Ultimately, Semmelweis went insane and ironically later died of sepsis himself when he was severely beaten by guards in an insane asylum. Although the medical establishment was loath to admit their contribution to purpural fever at the time, ultimately Semmelweis's uh, innovations of hand washing and the development of clean or antiseptic technique became widely accepted in medicine and ultimately led to uh, great strides in reducing uh, sepsis in medical settings.